When the Jews were forced to flee Egypt after Passover, they had no time to leaven their bread. So they made flatbread, unleavened bread, which is what we call matzah. The problem is they didn't make good unleavened bread. So this is matzah for the new millennium. The fact is, this recipe is as old as the hills, and it's called carta musica, sheet music, because the bread is supposed to be so thin that you can see through it. And like matzah, it has very few ingredients. Like matzah, it can be made very, very quickly, especially if you have a pharaoh on your tail and you're fleeing. When I first ate this, which was years ago, I assumed it was too hard to make. But then a bakery in my neighborhood called Grand Daisy started to make it, and I started to buy it from them and started, it's quite addictive. And um, so I asked them how they do it, and it turned out that they use a tiny bit of yeast in their carta musica. And I wanted to make unleavened bread so that I could call it matzah, even though everybody's going to disagree about whether this is matzah or not. So I developed a method using some of their techniques, but no yeast. And it's still really great. You start by making an emulsion of olive oil and water. And to do that, all you do is whisk them together. You're actually using only a little bit more water than you are olive oil, almost 50-50. So when you have this sort of pathetic looking vinaigrette, well, it's not a vinaigrette, but when you have this water oil emulsion, take your flour, put it in your food processor. So two cups of flour, half a cup of water, third a cup of olive oil, half a teaspoon of salt. Here we go. I love how there's smoke coming out of here. The Israelites, of course, did not have food processors. We do. And they make dough incredibly easy. Okay, we're making 12 little matzot. So far, so good. We're making 12 an equally sized matzot. This is, you could use a knife, but this is a little pastry cutter. Very handy for this. And you see that because of all this olive oil, this stuff is not sticky at all. We want to roll these little suckers as thin as we can. By the way, as you're preparing to flee, preheat the oven to 500 degrees. Has to be hot. And get them as thin as you possibly can. And it's, it's not difficult. You see, I'm not having much trouble here. And you really can see your fingers through them. Or anything else. You don't need to oil the uh, baking sheet. You do need to salt these. And two minutes on the first side, one minute on the second, that's it. Then you flee. So there you go. You can see there's fat in here. You would not get that color without it. Beautifully crisp. Well, you rolled it really, really thin on the edges. That's probably 30 seconds from burning. So if your oven's at the right temperature, you're gonna get these beautiful bubbles. You're gonna get these darker brown edges that are nearly burnt. The center's gonna be nice and golden and pale brown. You've got that familiar matzah texture.